Hi everyone, so today I've got um, a recipe for tandoori marinade. A lot of my viewers and followers have actually requested this because um, I have made some um, tandoori tiger prawns and some chicken as well. So these are the, um, the ingredients that I've got. So we've got tandoori spice marinade, a Kashmiri masala spice paste, mint sauce, some natural yogurt, some dried fenugreek leaves, We've got some garam masala and we've got some food colouring there as you can see that little red blob and then we've got some curry powder which we make at home so it's curry powder, turmeric, coriander and cumin powder mixed together. As you can see we've got some spices as cardamoms, black pepper and some cloves in there. So the next step is just to get a bowl, make sure you obviously get everything ready so you can just start adding. So what I normally do is I use about two to three heapfuls of natural yogurt, mind my spoon, there's a little bit of food colouring on there, but two to three teaspoons or tablespoon is fine, but it just depends on the quantity uh, of how much you are wanting. So if you're making less or more chicken or prawns then just obviously measure to that so we're going to add all the spices into this now and the food coloring the food coloring is up to yourself if you would like to add it or not and obviously depending on how much you want you just add it little by little i obviously did not measure it properly so i put a little bit too much inside but, you know, in a normal world, if you're making loads of this paste or marinade, you can just basically keep adding some natural yogurt and it'll just get lighter. So just make sure you mix properly. It's nice and smooth so the paste isn't lumpy. Then just get a separate spoon and obviously, like I said, if you need to add a little bit more, just put a bit more in so it can just make it smoother. Don't forget to add a tablespoon of mint sauce and mix well. Mm. So as you can see, the paste is actually getting lighter as you put more natural yogurt in. So now we just take our tikka masala paste and our Kashmiri paste, again tablespoon of each. Stir well again. As you can see it does look a little bit lumpy and bumpy no matter how much you stir so you know if you really want to get a bit crazy then you can blend this all to make a smoother paste so they're both the paste that we've used and this is what we get the fit the flavor basically comes from these two little pots of patak Kashmiri masala and tandoori paste Right, don't forget to add some lemon and some coriander if you really want to. The lemon really enhances the flavour. It is entirely up to yourself if you would like to add some oil or if you would like to add some salt. I haven't added it today um, with it being on step two. I can't afford to put that in. So I've used a little wedge of lemon because it's only a little bit. I don't require half a lemon or full. So when you're ready, just stir again. Stir vigorously so it mixes in properly. Don't forget we did put in some cardamom pods, some cloves and some black pepper, peppercorns. Obviously if you were to whisk, whisk or blend that, that would turn fine and that would enhance the flavour even more. 
but that is entirely up to yourself if you have the time but just to show you just for demonstration purposes we'll show this in this video because I prefer a finer paste right so I've got my Breville bottle in my machine and basically just start whisking until you feel like the consistency is the best for you I just blitzed it for however long I felt like when you're done with that you can get your chicken or your prawns or fish and prepare and then pretty much this is what it will look like at the end so what you need to do is you need to score your fish your chicken or your prawns as you can see I've done it for this and then you just basically leave it in to marinate for 24 to 48 hours that's depending on how much flavor you are wanting it flavor you're wanting to, for it to get in and pretty much that's it guys my mum's paste is actually a little bit lighter than mine because she put less coloring in but like I said that's entirely up to yourself but that's pretty much everything guys it's as easy as it gets it takes five minutes to make and then it takes 24 to 48 hours to marinate but thank you for watching guys